This channel has been all about making GoPro volleyball videos for the past year and they've gotten a great response and there's been a few other channels out there that have been making content like this but there's not really any information out there about how you can start making these videos on your own so today I'm going to teach you exactly what you need to get started making your own GoPro volleyball videos. The first thing you're going to need is your GoPro model. At the end of the day, there's a million different GoPro models and you can choose any one of them to make your GoPro volleyball videos, but there are a few which are going to be better suited to your needs. I personally record with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. There's no reason you can't pick up any action camera and start making volleyball videos on your own, but at the end of the day, you're going to get what you pay for. When it comes to GoPro specifically, I'd recommend at least a GoPro Model 7 because the image quality is better than the previous models, and I'd even strongly recommend a GoPro Hero 8 because it has the wind reduction capabilities. When you play volleyball, you're running around a lot. You're getting a lot of movement, which means there's going to be lots of wind noise getting picked up by the microphone in the camera, and this can be super noisy, which is why I'd recommend some of the more recent models because they have inbuilt wind reduction. And with your GoPro, I'd recommend filming in the widest POV possible because you want to make sure that you're capturing as much movement as you can as well as your perspective. There's a lot of motion when you're recording with a GoPro on your head, so having a wide angle makes it so it's the least janky kind of movement possible and just makes it easier to watch. You should be filming in at least 1080p with a minimum of 60 frames per second. Any lower than 60 FPS and the ball can be hard to see, especially when it's spiked or served. And it's generally just a rule that when it comes to sports, higher FPS is better in a GoPro. You can shoot at a lower frame rate for a more cinematic look, 24, 30 frames per second. But when you're filming with a GoPro on your head, the higher frame rates will definitely look better on camera. And when it comes to recording sessions longer than one hour, I would definitely recommend bringing at least one spare GoPro battery, if not two. Next up is the mount. If you want your videos to look like mine, I record using a GoPro head mount. You can get these at pretty much any store that sells GoPros. You can get them secondhand online. You can get them anywhere. Just make sure that when you're recording, that the angle of your camera is not too high and it's not too low. And that your hands, when directly in front of you, are in the center of the frame. And that's all you need to record. It's literally as simple as that. Make sure you tweak the settings to your liking and experiment with what you like to watch. Now, when it comes to the editing stage, there's heaps and heaps of free software out there which will get the job done exactly how you need it. The one that I use is called DaVinci Resolve, and while it does come with a premium version, it has all of the editing capabilities that you need in the free version to make your own GoPro videos. You can use Movie Maker, iMac, I think Apple computers come with another free one as well. But always get started with a free one like DaVinci Resolve because you definitely don't need any premium software until you've been editing for at least a long while. And that's it. Hope this helps anyone wanting to make their own GoPro volleyball videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.